This is The Big Question with Dr. Ellie Gonzalez, brought to you by Good News Unlimited, tackling the big questions in a simple and positive way. And today's big question is, what does it mean to be a Christian? My idea of what being a Christian is all about has actually changed a lot over the years. When I was younger, I thought that being a Christian was about going to church and being part of a religious community that believed in the same things about God. That gave me a sense of safety. In a, in a way, it was all about conforming. And it was all about being aware that I was different to other people and in a sense judging them because they weren't like me and they didn't have what I had. In reality, I guess that's how a lot of non-Christians view believers in Jesus. But the thing is, that's what I thought being a Christian was all about when I was a kid growing up in church. And I think it's a very immature view of what it means to be a Christian. And it's taken me a long time to actually grow up. What made me change my understanding of what it means to be a Christian were two things, I guess, and they were related. The first one was when I started to question my beliefs. And the second one was just the disappointments that always come as you travel through life, even, to be honest, disappointments with church. And it's often the disappointments in life that make us reevaluate things, right? Because they help us see that the world doesn't work the way we thought it did. I came to some bedrock facts, and I think these are the core facts of what it means to be a Christian and what started the whole Christianity thing in the beginning. The first one was the fact that Jesus Christ actually lived, died and rose again from the dead. And it's not because some religion says so, it's because the facts of history all stack up, attested to by the multiple eyewitness testimonies and the ripple effects, even tidal waves of these events through history. And if these things are true, then what Jesus claimed for himself was true as well. God came to save the world, and he did it through the cross, so everyone who believes in him belongs to his kingdom and has eternal life. For me, being a Christian is something very, very personal because Jesus has promised that he's never going to leave us. He's with us through his spirit and I have personally found that to be true. Jesus teaches us a new way to live. Christianity calls it the way of grace and the truth is that grace is a word that Christianity owns because it's one of the key things that sets Christianity apart from every other belief system in the world. Grace is the idea that God's love and forgiveness can't be earned but is offered to every person, even the most unworthy. But it's not just an idea. It's a reality that followers of Jesus learn to walk in and find their identity in, to know that you are accepted and loved despite who you are and despite what anyone else could say about you. Well, that's just incredibly liberating in your daily life and it frees you up to show grace, forgiveness and unselfish kindness to those around you. Of course, I go to church but I'm not a Christian because of church. I'm a Christian because of what Jesus has done for me. And I go to church to be encouraged and to encourage others to live out their lives in freedom and happiness and hope. For more, contact goodnewsunlimited.com.